what is up guys welcome back to another video my name is sparkman i'm a game developer and today i want to show you some pretty cool stuff in uh, construct 3 now now this is not gonna be a formal video or, or anything i just want to show you this stuff <laughs> this is a pretty cool stuff you can do in construct 3 you cannot do in any other game engine well you could but it will take you a lot of effort okay uh this is stuff you can do effortless in construct 3 that is super difficult to make in other game engines. Let's first start with the glass effect. Let's run this. Okay, uh, there is our object here. You can see that it's sort of like glass. Let me Let's try the next one, which is uh, the haze effect. Try this again. Whoa, you can see that it's almost like... Like... It's like heat or something. And I can see this would be very cool for a uh, fire effect. Alright, next effect. Luminance and transition. See what this is all about. Run this. Whoa, that's cool. I like that. Now, if you want any of this effect, all you have to do is uh, click on uh, effects, and you have a whole lot of effects here you can use. Uh, I'm gonna make another video about these uh, effects. Right now, I just wanna show you. Now, the cool thing about this is that uh, you can export this to Android. You can export this to any uh, platform, actually. It doesn't affect it. Now I have used game engines before where um, these effects only work on PC. These effects work on anything. And like I mentioned, this works on Android or anything. How do you how do you get this to work? Oh you press enter! It's like Super Nintendo. Oh no, a jet's flying by. That's it's gonna interrupt my recording. And again that's just uh that's just an effect you can throw over the image. And it's automatic. You can change the settings if you wanted to. Yeah, I see a lot of people struggling in Unity to uh, create some of these effects. So let me just open this. It's another effect. I'm going to press enter. Once I enter. Oh no, it's water. It's water. Look at that stuff. Whoa. And as I mentioned, this works on Android and any other platform. I think I said that like 10 times already. Now, if you wanted to change the effect, all you had to do is like go over here and change the effect okay it's a screen bleed effect I don't know what that is today we're trying effects oh look at this stuff all right moving on to the next effect that was good but was not great let's be honest let's call it what it is all right what is this effect all about this effect is uh, it's a transition so it says press enter actually it says press any button there just look at that stuff that's uh uh, that's not too bad. Now, if you were to program that on Unity, that would probably take you about a, I don't know, a day or something. Depending. Well, let's say you found the code. Water transition. Try this one. Press enter. Is it enter? Oh, no, you have to click on it. Whoa, look at that. You can almost make a flag with that, too. It's almost like cloth effect, too. Look at that. Look at that stuff. And there's no lag or anything. I mean, that's, that's crazy. Alright guys, I just wanted to show you this. I'm going to make another video about uh, configuring these uh, effects. But you don't really have to do much. All you have to do is uh, select the effect and uh, select the settings. You guys, if you like making your own games, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Uh, make sure you also click on notifications, which is the bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye now.